I am a bear of very little brain, and long words bother me. A.A. A. Mill wrote that of Winnie the Pooh. And I gotta say, sometimes I feel pretty poo-brained myself, especially in areas of my faith. In one particular one, when I was a little girl, all the other kids used to rush in, ready to recite their memory verses so that they could get their little star sticker or a cookie as a prize for reciting the Bible verse. But not me. I was never any good at memorizing things. I'm still not to this day. But I found over decades that I even had trouble studying the Word of God. I would sit down to read, and after I'd get a couple paragraphs in, I'd start thinking about my to-do list, or the cobweb in the corner, or what was going to be for dinner. I couldn't keep my focus because my mind would wander. I would pray against that and ask God to help me keep focused, but I never seemed able to overcome that. I went to all kinds of Bible studies, so I would have homework to do, and I would muddle through it but it was not out of a love for the Word of God. I tried hard. I had a spiritual mentor who told me if I just kept at it, the love for the Word would come. And it just never did. It was a prayer that felt like it went unanswered and I felt pretty miserable. How could I, as someone who loves God this much, just not wanna spend time in His Word? How could I not wanna hear from my Father Himself? Well, that all changed one day. I was sitting in church in the balcony, so there was a man in front of me just a little bit below, and I saw over his left shoulder that he had a few colored pencils in his left hand. In his right hand, as I peeked around, he was taking a pencil and drawing a beautiful eagle across the pages of his open Bible. I was mesmerized. I had never seen anyone do such a thing, and I couldn't believe it. Do people do this? Is, is, is this a thing? I, I, I didn't know what to do or say. I was watching the scripture that was being preached from the front of the church appearing visually on the pages of his Bible. And this spoke to me in a way that nothing else had been doing. I went home immediately and started Googling and researching and I just had to know more about this. I found a lot of Bible journaling on social sites all over the place and I started saving pictures and watching videos and replicating what other people were doing and trying out all these mediums and oh my goodness gracious, I was buying all the stuff. <laughs> and after a while of that, God said, wait, 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 hold on. It's time to fast. He asked me to stop looking at what others were creating and spend time with him. Because apparently what I had done was getting really excited about all of that artwork, and I wasn't getting excited still about the word. So I stopped looking at all of those hashtags on social media sites, and I started studying for myself. As I did, God started opening the scriptures to me in ways that I had never understood before. I was starting to see visuals as I was reading. I was seeing in pictures. I was understanding and hearing him in ideas in a way that had never happened before. He taught me that I didn't need all that stuff that I had bought. I could make do with just a set of pencils or watercolor pencils or watercolors, very simple. I didn't need to use all the fancy tools. I could very simply read the word, understand what he's saying, and create. And adding that creative component to my worship was mind-blowing. It was life-transforming for me. I used to worship and give him glory and honor for who he is and all he's done for me. But now I had a creative component that I could add to it and Suddenly, I was remembering scripture verses I never had before. Now I know where to find them when I need to reference them. I have a love for scripture that didn't exist in my life. And it's all because he introduced me to this creative component. 
The gentleman who I saw drawing that eagle that day, he was an angel sent from God. I asked everybody who was around me that day if they had seen him and no one did. I've not seen him since. I've looked and I've been waiting for him to show up again. But it was just that one time, just for me. And ever since then, my life has been different. My relationship with Jesus has been different. And I don't know where he's going with all of this, but I'm very excited to now have that love for the word that I didn't have before. I want to invite you to come on the journey with me. If you'd like to dig into the scriptures and learn how to study and understand them and turn it into your own Bible journaling pages, or perhaps you work in jewelry or woodworking or you write poetry, this creative process works for a lot of different types of creativity. And I want to invite you to come and study with me. Let's spend some time in the word of the Lord and learn what he's saying to us and how we can capture those things visually. There's a link in the description down below to the Seeing the Scriptures class, and I'd love to see you there.